Hey there, boys and girls. Here we are. Day 18. Wow, this is going fast. Uh, number one, seven equals a number divided by eight. So let's think backwards on this. Okay. We're going to work backwards. And what we're going to do is we are going to take eight times seven. So seven times eight equals 56. Now, if we take 56 divided by eight, it gives us Seven. I know it says division on there, but we're missing the big numbers, so therefore we had to multiply to figure that one out. All right, number two. In the table above, how many students play a musical instrument? Well, we need to figure out uh, how many play piano yet, don't we? Uh, three plus seven equals ten. Uh, one, two, three, four. Now we're going to add all of those up to figure out how many play a musical instrument, okay? So let's look at uh, 9 and 1 is 10. So we have 30 plus 20, basically, right? So 30 plus 20 is 50, plus 40 is 90. But let's just double check and let's do our work over here and show it as well, okay? So we're going to take 31 plus 40 plus 19. Okay, 9 plus 0 plus 1 equals 10. Uh, 3 plus 1 is 4. 4 plus 4 is 8. And one more makes 9. So we got the same answer. Uh, sometimes when we see this and this, that's 1 above a 10. This is one below a 10. We can kind of get it and do our mental math that way. Uh, number three. This teddy bear carries three hearts on a wire. Multiply them by eight, then go 77 higher. Ooh, it's like a little rhymey riddle. Ooh. All right, so there's three hearts on a wire, and we have to multiply that by eight. So three times eight equals 24. Now we need to go 77 higher. So we're going to take that number 24, and we're going to add 77 to it. That would make us go 77 more than that. Okay, so 4 plus 7 equals 11. 7, 8, 9, 10. So what is our magic number here? Our number is 101. All right, great job with that. Uh, two more, number four. Pretend there's a candy bar above this number line. How many pieces in all between zero and one? So I can see there's a piece, there's a piece, and there's a piece. So how many pieces in all? Three. How many pieces to get to point B? Well, that would be two. Uh, now, there's one more question over here. It says, what fraction is point B? So be careful on here because we see a 3 and then a 2. The bottom, the denominator, is the total number of the whole, right? So there's 1, 2, 3. Our denominator is 3. The numerator is the number that you have or that are shaded in. So if we did to point B, we'd have 1, 2. We'd have two out of the three equal pieces. All right. Our last question, number five. Using these digits, make the largest three-digit number. Well, a nine has to go into the hundreds. Uh, four is bigger than three. And we're left with a three. Now, the smallest number is going to be the exact opposite. 349. Now let's find the difference or subtract them. So let's go 943 minus 349. Uh, we have to borrow more on the floor. 13 minus 9 is 3 and 1 is 4. Uh, 3 minus 4, oh, more on the floor. We have to borrow from next door. Had to borrow twice in this problem, didn't we? Yep. So now 13 minus 4 is 6 and 3 is 9. And 8 minus 3 equals 5. So there is our answer, 594. All right.
Great job, my fearless fraction solvers. Uh, we will see you tomorrow for day number 19.